How does one reduce persistent inequalities? How does one avoid persistence across generations? Measuring mobility is not an obvious thing. All of these different dimensions, location, family, age, how predictive are features of an individual's childhood and adolescence for their outcomes as an adult? Parental income affects where you attend school. Where you attend school affects the probability of graduation. The next thing that's going to happen is persistent effects in the labor market. One has to not only think about the individuals as members of families, we also have to think about individuals as members of larger aggregates. The neighborhood I grew up in, the school that I attend, the network of friends that I interact with, the organization in which I work. Race, gender, they are fundamental sources of differences in mobility across individuals and across generations. If we think that high achieving students deserve to go to elite schools, it's happening infrequently when the families are disadvantaged. Inequality is unjust when it is due to factors for which a person is not responsible. It is, to be blunt, shocking to me that somebody would ask the question, if I have two groups of people and one of them has been viciously mistreated, that I would attribute residual differences in their income or wealth to a genomic explanation as opposed to the persistence of the horrible treatment. I would like to suggest a different vision of what policy ought to be doing, shaping the trajectories of children, adolescents, and young adults. We want a society to be one in which there are large opportunities for individuals outside the access of birth.